Okay, welcome to this video where I'm going to be talking about Claude Code and Codex together and how it's an unstoppable code combination. Basically, what I've been doing is I was using Claude Code for MCPs, CLI commands, Docker, everything, and then using Codex for coding, and the combination that it created was absolutely insane. Now, if you don't know, I have a SaaS called SEO Grove, which I've built basically in public in front of everyone. and Yesterday, I just woke up and chose violence or whatever, chose, you know, working. Yesterday was Sunday. I did 14 hours of coding, and in that 14 hours, using the methods that I'm going to show you in today's video, I managed to get it so you can actually add WordPress or WooCommerce stores as well as Shopify stores. This was actually quite a hard process because there are nine or ten different agents, and every single agent had to be changed to use the WordPress API instead of the Shopify API. Now, if you're interested in SEO Grove, whether you're on Shopify or WordPress, WooCommerce, you can now sign up. We have a deal right now, which you can secure if you join the waitlist. To join the waitlist, just top here, join waitlist, and you can use the waitlist three months code, or you can just join the waitlist, and we will automatically apply that discount for you. Just go to the uh, waitlist here, fill in all your information, pay the $1, and then we'll charge you $99 for, three, uh, for every month for three months. And then that rolls over to $4.99 a month. So let's talk a little bit about this method. So you can see here I have Claude Code running. And basically what I do is I do all of my MCP stuff. So if you do M slash MCP, you'll see I have Playwright, Superbase, and Uptash. I also have Docker CLI set up. So I can run Docker commands inside Docker. And then here on Visual Studio Code is actually where I do all of the coding. Now I've been finding Codex to be a hundred times better, right? Now it's not perfect, as you can see here, you say, I, I had to say, you misunderstand me. I want to build my translation agent, which is built for Shopify, work for WordPress, blah, blah, blah. But like the 1 million context window here is absolutely crazy. Like there's no need to compact anything like that. And you can see I, I basically one shot something that I was working on Claude code for hours and hours and hours and I just couldn't get it to work. And then I brought that over to Codex and it basically immediately got the job done. So I actually did most of my code with Claude Code last night. I had a huge, like, ridiculous conversation with Claude Code. You can see here, like, it's just absolutely insane. But I noticed partway through that it was struggling and it was starting to make mistakes. And I don't know what happened. It was like I was talking to a whole different coder. Now, one thing I will mention is at some point it did go down to Sonnet instead of Opus. So I think that might have been part of the problem. But just generally, I just noticed that the, the standard of code just suddenly dropped. So I decided to hop on over to Codex because recently what I've been doing is when I've got problems with Claude Code, I hop on over to Codex and it actually works incredibly well. But one of the problems I have with Codex is MCPs are just not very easy to set up at all, right? So I was getting kind of annoyed with that because I need MCPs. I need to be able to run Docker commands. I need to be able to run GitHub commands. I need to be able to do all these things. But I just find that Codex isn't that good at doing this, right? So what I've been doing is I've been running all of my commands, all of my MCPs, if I need to update the database or, you know, whatever it might be. Maybe I need to update Stripe or I, I have everything set up locally on Claude Code, right? And then... If I want to, if I want to test something, I use Claude Code to test it, or maybe I'm having an issue with, I don't know, Superbase. Maybe I need to make changes to Superbase. Maybe I need to run a Docker script. You know, whatever it might be. There's loads and loads of different things that I could be doing on Claude Code. And then for the actual coding, I've just been using Codex. If it has a mistake, right? If something goes wrong, if there's an error. Then I just go back to doing the standard copy, the error, and put it into Codex and say, okay, this happened, this happened, this happened. Now, it was actually really interesting last night as well. I made a change to my GPT course so that I would use GPT-4 Nano for everything. And then the content writer wasn't actually working properly. So I realized that maybe the problem was it just wasn't a good enough model. 
So I changed back to GPT-5 just for the writing uh, prompt and the quality of the content immediately shot back up. So the really cool thing about that is I actually, I didn't know what was going on and I accused Codex of changing my code and changing my prompts, but it reassured me that it hadn't changed anything, right? So I looked deeper into it and I realized, okay, so maybe the problem here is actually the fact that it's using GPT-5 Nano instead of GPT-5. So I sit to use GPT-5 instead. And then, like I said, it just instantly went back up in code quality. So this setup, right, is basically having Claude code with Superbase MCP, Uptash MCP, Playwright MCP for checking um, code online or on, on the browser, sorry. And then in the same folder, right? So I'm still in Grove Codex. We're both in Grove Codex. I have Codex open, ready to actually write code for me. Now this combination is proving to be an absolute winner for me. The amount of effort that it takes on Codex to do the same kind of code that Claude Code would do is minimal. So you can see here, for example, I just ran that compact. You might've seen that it was full of context and it instantly just continued. And what it did was it sent a WooCommerce test email because I'm currently just doing a market email marketing campaign to tell people that we're now on WooCommerce because we had a lot of people sign up to the waitlist who weren't on Shopify, but now we're on WooCommerce as well. And you can see what it did was it basically fixed this and then ran the test script and it sent the test email or the, the marketing email to my email, which is incomestreamserver.gmail.com. It sent the email and then like, for example, if I didn't like what it created or whatever, then I can either change it in Claude code or I can change it in codex. Things like emails and stuff like that, I would probably use Codex, uh, I would probably use Claude Code for. What I'm using Codex for is the really, really complicated things. Like you can see just how long this prompt actually was. And it absolutely nailed this prompt, okay? It took everything that I gave it and it just applied it directly to the code and it smashed it, right? It made a little mistake here. I had to send a couple of errors that were here, blah, 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 a few more errors. It finally fixed everything. And it did what Claude Code couldn't do in like 10 minutes, right? I tried to do this on Claude Code for hours and hours and hours. It just wasn't having it. I switched over to Codex just using Instinct. I was like, mm, maybe Codex might be able to do this. I tried it with Codex and it literally did it in 10 minutes. And then I ran all of the tests on Claude Code. I saw that the content was now being generated successfully here in Docker. Um, it'll be somewhere around here. And yeah, I successfully added a whole new, you know, 50% of customers could be using WooCommerce. I added a whole new platform to SEO Grove in under 24 hours, which is pretty damn impressive using predominantly the system that I just explained to you of using Claude Code for MCPs, CLI commands, GitHub, all of that stuff. So like my CICD, all of that kind of organizational stuff and then using Codex on high reasoning with agent mode for all of the complicated coding stuff. I'll leave the video there, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you're watching all the way to the end of the video, you're an absolute bloody legend, and I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.